There's a homeowners association, and that is the eventual administrator of the form-based code that we wrote, which has architectural standards. Um, but the, for now, the developer regulates that stuff. So uh, the palette that the code would permit is much broader than the ones they've implemented. So one thing about this is that all everything built in housing so far has been built by the same builder. There's only one builder here. And they have this great partnership and they kind of work things out together. Um, but in the next phase, they'll get a, a second builder. But stuck in customs and log jammed, uh, it's your you know, German play equipment. So it was stuck in, in the uh, distribution log jam of the uh, post pandemic period. So they just got the gear and they haven't been able to and, uh, complete inspections and open it yet. So the park, this is the, the central square. You look at the park when it's uh, in the future plan, buildings face it from, from that corner. There's just a piece there where the, where the basketball court is now that doesn't show. First 90 uh, or so folks, uh, households, were um, living here before there was any retail. And so, but then there was a schedule for getting that started by, at great expense, the developers renovated the old uh, mid-century modern uh, airport terminal. And uh, against everybody's advice, but because they felt like they'd made a promise to the people that were here, they opened a restaurant in late April, early May of 2020. Hmm. So just quick show of hands, how many people know of a restaurant that opened in April of 2020? <laughs> okay. I knew a so, number that tried. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, yeah. So uh, that they really struggled. Although the people that were here were eating there all the time. It just wasn't enough. Um, and so that has, over the last couple of months, turned into the new place, which is the taco joint. Uh, so. The, the, the successor in that space, I think, is going to be a lot more successful. And the reason is because they had a food truck. It was a, it's an old bus renovated as a taco truck, uh, which is parked over there. And they have a following at all the food truck rallies. And, now, and people were asking them for a bricks and mortar location. So now they have one. And there's, it's kind of a place to go. So We're in Iceland for a minute. You know, the dark colored building and the really steep sh uh, snow shedding roof and the, and, the, and the minimalism. So there was something about this kind of windswept context that lends itself to reducing the number of shadow lines and things. But uh, if you look at, the, at many of our other projects in the, I think a lot of the projects of the first 30 years of, of new urbanism, uh, especially in the Southeast, the ones in Southern Living Magazine, there, uh, there's a lot of extra carpentry this is you know real effort to revive a, a, an orthodox uh, classical capital and lots of beadwork and joint concealment and shadow lines and exhaustive efforts to reseed the windows so that you get that feeling that the wall has more thickness and here they just said we don't have time for any of that <laughs> and they took as much of it off in as many places as they could and part of the reason was to contain costs so they actually succeeded with the first phase of hitting with single family detached houses a price point accessible to people at 70 percent of area median income the park is it publicly accessible it's publicly it. accessible but owned by the hoa and there's a promise of continual public access okay uh, the streets we intended to be public streets, but the city wouldn't take them with these narrow dimensions, so they're private streets. But that was, it was never our intention to do private streets. Um, but the city said, we just can't get our minds around these nine and 10 foot lanes. It's just, we just can't conceive of it. Seven foot parking spaces. And that, that so therefore we have, we have private streets. I kind of hope though that now they're used to fighting fires and, and yeah. rushing to, to heart attacks and whatever in this area that they will say, oh, well, this works, works out okay. We can yeah. think the next one's public. Maybe these will even become public someday. But right now they are private streets. Okay, so for the urbanistas, this is a deflected vista <laughs> when the street cranks. And it doesn't take much. You know, actually this street bends twice, one down there, but most of it is parallel with the runway when the street we were on. And then there's just a little bend right here, which if you look on the plan, you go, wow, that big crank, that doesn't look like much. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much it deflection works. to really tip the, the front of buildings into your field of vision. Yep. Anyway, Sarah, I thought you'd appreciate it. The first yeah. street was a pet-only street. That's amazing. Yeah. 
which um, doesn't look like a bike lane, but it is, yeah. and it's called Peddler's Lane. It's a little detail, but the, the raised crossing, which they're doing more and more of, raising the whole intersection and so on in subsequent phases, was just a little gesture to say that your car is a guest and uh, that people who are moving back and forth on two wheels or two feet are, get the priority. So in a space like this, even when there's a car coming, you feel pretty comfortable having a conversation because the pedestrians are dominating the space. Here's the smallest one. So Rob, this is the smallest one I was telling you about. It's, uh, it's its own unit, not an ADU to something to another unit. So to me, this is where they got really clever and began to realize they could blur the line between housing where people live in it and housing that's public art that people live in it because uh, it was a branding move um, and an, art, an artfulness move to plan this color scheme. And you notice the colors vary vertically, not just horizontally. So, and I was actually pretty skeptical about it. I thought it might look a little forced and it might feel a little fake, you know, just feel a little too affected. And, uh, I, you know, so I was completely wrong. <laughs> I, I think that they were, it was uh, a great moment because although this is a future development site in the fullness of time, right up against Western Avenue, for the, meet, for the moment, everybody going by, this is their impression of the Wheeler District. And it says, we are young, we are new, we are inclusive. And so it sends this awesome message. And, um, and also, the, you know, the boldness of the color scheme takes the Crayola crayon silhouette thing and just like leans in and so, says, so, uh, look at us, we, we get to live in a work of public art. When I see FedEx making deliveries during the day, yeah. that's a hint that there's probably somebody working from home. Yeah. True. And so we know this is like an ideal setup for a lot of dual income families where one person is commuting to a job but the other one is working from home and they get a space with a high ceiling and exposed rafters and whatever and a view across. And they can, from that window, they can see the downtown skyline and as the sun goes down, I mean, it's like, and FedEx brings them what they need. So. Yeah. Um, it's a, as a as work from home goes, this is a pretty cool place. Yeah. The school is part of the project, so we planned this site as a neighborhood school. Essentially, the developers understood that eventually there were going to be a lot of young families having kids and needing a neighborhood school. Um, that is the neighborhood school for five neighborhoods, of which Wheeler District is one. The developers built it at their expense. It's a public charter school. Um, and the, um, the first 185 kids are there now, eight of whom come from the Wheeler District. So in answer to the question someone had about how many of the households that are here so far have kids, I don't know how many have teenagers, but the ones in elementary school, the, this, this school, well, is at 185 now, it'll eventually have about 400 students. So those are early, you know, K through threes. But yeah, their charter requires them to be the neighborhood school for five neighborhoods, not just this one. Hi, handsome. We designed it, yay. Yay! Well, thanks. We love it. <laughs> but we what? Can you give us any of your impressions? How long you've been here? What, what's so we like? moved December 2019. Okay. And I think the best part is the community. Like, I had some friends that moved into a condo recently that were from Edmond, and they said, "Man, we moved to this condo community, and suddenly, like, we know our neighbors." I was like, "That's how I feel about Wheeler. Like, my last neighborhood, I knew a couple of neighbors, but here, all my neighbors are my friends." 
Um, and that happened once we came here. We really didn't know anybody before we came. Hmm. And um, our neighbors a couple doors down just became our closest friends and everybody's out all the time and connecting. Um, so it's right. it's an awesome place to be and it's uh, the kind of place that you can actually tell your kids, go ride your bikes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What about ages of the households? Com- How old are the people? Completely varied from like, young and single to lots of young families to empty nesters and people who just don't want to keep up with a yard and want to enjoy their life um, but I was telling somebody the other day I was like we bought time when we bought here you bought time mm-hmm. it's a time machine well because I don't have to mow a lawn and I don't have to keep up with play equipment and we get to enjoy our community oh, terrific. closer well, to every, everything what questions do you all have oh, what's your name I'm sorry I'm Kristen <laughs> Kristen has been hijacked, uh, <laughs> shanghai It happens into, all the time, actually. In, into explaining, we're in the middle of walking her pony. <laughs> so, uh, Are you mostly commuters? Um, you know, I, I think some people work from home. We moved in 2019. In fact, we changed our house plan to eliminate the home office because we didn't work from home. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, 2020 happened. Um, and so I think that there's a lot more mix of people who work from home and people who commute. Um, but I think that a lot of the people who do commute, commute downtown. So it's a short commute. Some people bike in. Um, we bike to Scissor Hill Park in the farmer's market all the time. So even with our little guys. Have you gotten to know the people who own the businesses on the shop home street? Some of Spoke them, street? yeah. Yeah, some of them are new, like uh, co-op cycles just moved in. So I don't know them yet, but like Air Park and Amber at Throne and uh, Kim who has the chiropractic shop. Like, yeah, like they're just part of the community. My son walks every day. He also really at the beginning was like, yeah, I want to ride my bike and then realized, you know, it's just as quick to walk. Yeah, it's um, pretty close. So, so it's a five minute walk and like I'm comfortable enough to leave my four year old son for five minutes while I walk my big kid to school when he's not wanting to get out of his pajamas yet. And do you see most other kids walking? Yes, from the neighborhood. Absolutely. The only time you'll see a parent drive over there is if they're rushing to get to an after school activity that's, you know, downtown or whatever. We're crazy about Wheeler and I hope that for any of you who are just visiting that you'll come back and visit anytime. We do have, I have an Airbnb, several so other people, so if you want to get the experience of like hanging out on a Wheeler, and I, I kind of feel bad that you're here in the middle of the day. If any of you have time this evening, promise that comes alive when the weather is nice um, and people are home from work and school. It's full of life and vibrancy and even I feel bad that CNU was here this week when it was wet and rainy on Tuesday. Oh, look at it's, today. It's, it's a really fun place to be, especially when we have community events. So. Hey everyone, John here with the Active Towns channel. Thank you so much for watching this Wheeler District Profile video featuring Victor Dover with Dover Coal and Partners Town Planning. Uh, This is a quintessential new urbanism development in my mind, taking an old airport and transforming it into a community uh, and including a richness of features of activity assets, you know, streets as activity assets. Uh, Again, a a, a typical uh, Dover Coal property where they start with the green stuff, the, the parks and the parkways and the uh, the beautiful tree-lined uh, avenues and boulevards first and then building around that. Uh, absolutely wonderful and I hope you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what Wheeler looks like in another 10, 20 years as the, the development continues to build out. And uh, the other thing that, that I loved about uh, Kristen, the, the resident that stopped to talk with us, was the fact that uh, she talked about how they like to jump on their bikes and ride to the downtown area uh, over to Scissor Tail Park and the farmer's market that takes place in the downtown area. So be sure to check out my video uh, for that particular ride, getting from the downtown area to the Wheeler District. Uh, it's a fun video, and I evaluate three different routes that uh, she and the rest of the 
the residents can take to, to get back and forth between the downtown area and the Wheeler District. Uh, again, I can't wait to see how this develops over time, and I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, <laughs> leave a comment down below, share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Uh, just uh, click that button down below, ring that notifications bell, and indicate what your notifications preferences might be. And uh, gosh, thank you so very much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. This is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.